Hey guys, uh, I'm nearing completion on my desk that I, I talked about it in one of my videos before. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been busy. I'm getting ready to get married in a few months. But uh, this is a little side project I've been working on. It's a desk um, I'm going to use for my computer. Um, it's made out of, the frame is made out of uh, 2x4s and the panels are MDF. Now the only problem, the problem with MDF is if it gets wet, so I really, I want this thing to be pretty permanent. I mean, one day I could repair it if any, the panels get messed up, but I'm doing a lot of work to try to make it so that this thing is sealed properly. Um, so these are MDF panels. Um, this is the, that's the top surface. I already, I already, I, uh, already filled in all this, there's screws that hold this thing to the frame underneath. It's, um... Let me see if you can see the whole thing. I'll lay it on top if I can. Um, the desk is going to be 54 inches wide and 30 inches deep. So it's pretty large and it's going to be 26 and a half inches high. So it's extremely low too. So essentially it's low because it's going to be like a keyboard. Essentially where my keyboard is because I have VESA. I have a VESA mount um, like bar that will hang onto the back. It doesn't matter how low it is because the monitors are can go up much higher than the, the desk is. They're not on stands. So um, it's going to be an extremely low desk, but it's going to be very wide and very deep. I needed it deep because my monitors are big, and I want to be able to like not be too close to them, which I am in my current desk setup, so in order to reach my keyboard. Let me kind of lay it out. I'm, uh, man, I'm still, I got a lot, still got a lot of work to do. This is taking a few months, but I, I've only work, been able to work on this every couple of weekends. But right now what I'm doing is I'm um, sealing the edges of this MDF, which is the most crucial part to seal um, – I'm sealing this with spackle, um, and I'm going to sand that, obviously. Um, all the countersunk uh, screws I sealed with wood filler because I'm going to, you know, you let that dry, you sand it, do it again, and then um, eventually I'm going to prime the whole thing and paint the whole thing. Uh, you want to do a lacquer-based primer because MDF will soak any water. So, uh, yeah, I had to learn how to pocket screw, as you can see, because of these edges. Now, if I was smart, I would have done this on the other side. I would have built it and had everything hidden, but it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I'm the only one looking at this thing, so those pocket screws kind of... And I would have built the shelf before I put these panels on because I'm going to have to build a shelf in the bottom. So basically how it is... Let me lay this down real quick. Obviously, that's not laid uh, perfectly, but... And then this, this back panel will go, like, back here. So you can't see... All the wiring will actually be hidden behind that back panel, which will be here. Um, and I still need to add a couple more pieces of wood for support because all of the load will be on the monitors, will be on a mount right here. So I'm going to put, like, a, a bar across, which connects to that back panel, which will force the two sides into a kind of flexion inwards. So... Yeah. Anyway, obviously that's not lined up straight. Um, another key feature of this desk is it needs to be able to be taken apart. So this is basically four pieces. I have uh, brackets with screws that go into the wood. And I can take the four pieces apart, uh, get it through my house door and through my room door, and then rebuild it inside there. Obviously after I've primed it and painted it. So um, that's it. Uh, you can kind of tell it's pretty big. It's, I mean, if you're here in person, it's pretty damn big desk. And it's really low, too, which is weird. And I had to make this kind of thin in order for my knees to fit, but then still have the keyboard right there. So this is the optimal height for my, my height. I, I tested it out with my chair and everything. 26 and a half inches is good for me. This, um, if I make the shelf exactly level with this, will just fit my, my case, slot, slot, um, my computer case. So that, that works there. Over on this side, I'm going to have the subwoofer. I'm going to have my... Um, Headphones, I'm going to have a little like um, uh, like a little hook with the headphones hanging. Maybe I'll put that on the inside so you can't see the hook and just have the headphones hanging there. So then I can just grab my headphones. I have a removable cable, so I just grab them, put them on, and then stop, clap the, put the cable in. I'll have the best amount with the load there, speakers on either side. So I made it really wide because um, my monitors take up a lot of uh, width, so I didn't want the monitors to stick out like they do in my current crappy $50 Walmart desk. So this will actually have like five inches on either side of extra space where you can have the speaker and the monitors can't even get hit at that point. You know, 
So, um, and then I get to sit really far away because it's so deep and all the cables are hidden and the, the case, my current desk, the case doesn't fit through there. So the case will fit through there. So it solves several problems for me. Uh, keyboard height, case, um, case fitting inside, cables hidden, uh, monitor width, um, sitting depth. So uh, that's the reason I built this thing. This thing is actually costing me probably $150 in parts and all the wood and MD and the, I had to buy two MDF panels. Um, taking a lot of time on the weekends, but it'll be worth it in the end because it'll be custom made exactly to my specifications and um, hopefully it'll be nice. Um, MDF looks pretty nice once you once you actually paint it and everything. So um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll show a video once it's done obviously and in my room, but right now I still have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna, I gotta seal all these edges still with spackle. I'm gonna sand everything down and build the build the shelf on either side on both sides and um, figure out the little support for the middle and then hopefully this weekend or next weekend I'm gonna paint this thing because I, I want to seal it already so that it it doesn't get wet when someone's like washing the car here I don't want it to get damaged but anyway um, that's my desk so far you can just I just wanted to make a video in the middle just so you kinda see um, what it looks like halfway through alright see you guys later